Hello everyone, Daniel here with another video looking at the Warner region. Today we are in Bladen upon Tyne. We are looking for the remains of a Spigot Moor iron placement which was built here during the Second World War. Blacker Bombard, also known, also known as a 29mm spigot mortar, was an infantry anti-tank weapon devised by Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Blacker in the early years of the Second World War. Intended as a means to equip Home Guard units with an anti-tank weapon in case of a German invasion, particularly in the weeks after the Dunkirk evacuation when the British Army could only field 27 divisions against the more than 100 divisions possessed by the German Army at the time. Following Dunkirk, the British Army was particularly short of anti-tank guns, 840 of which had been left behind in France, with only 167 being available in Britain. Ammunition was also scarce for the remaining guns, so much so that regulations forbade even a single round being used for training purposes. Given these shortcomings, those modern weapons which were available were allocated to the British Army, and the Home Guard was forced to supplement its meagre amount of outdated weapons and ammunition with ad hoc weapons. Unlike conventional mortars, the spigot mortar did not possess a barrel, and instead there was a steel rod known as a spigot fixed to a base plate. The bomb itself had a propellant charge inside its tail. When the mortar was to be fired, the bomb was pushed down onto the spigot, which exploded the propellant charge and blew the bomb into the air. From 1938, the weapon was offered to the War Office without success. Objections were raised by the Director of Artillery and other government officials, but on the 18th of June 1940, Winston Churchill attended a demonstration of the weapon. Churchill took a liking to the spigot mortar and ordered it into full production. It would act as a temporary anti-tank weapon for the Home Guard until more two-pounder anti-tank guns could be supplied to them. Served by a crew of between three and five, the weapon weighed 112 pounds, 360 pounds if the mobile platform was used, and was able to fire a 20 pound high explosive bomb to a range of approximately 100 yards. When the bomb was detonated, it was able to inflict significant damage onto a tank, although it was unlikely to actually pierce the vehicle's armour, as the projectile was not able to gain sufficient velocity. Although there were doubts about the effectiveness of the weapon, many were issued, although few, if any, saw use in combat. So I'm just over the road from Bladen Roundabout, and if I turn round, there, you can see the emplacement directly behind me. It is just a concrete um, base with the metal mount still attached, but it's still clearly visible. I'll get up there and I'll take some photographs and show you in a little bit more detail. Big up more amount. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit a like on this in the video. If you're inclined as well, I'd be grateful if you would subscribe to the channel. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on the video. Um, any comments if you have any more knowledge about the emplacement, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you.